from Harry. My name is Harry too, so I guess we're the Harrys. <laughs> Here are seven best Harry Styles moments of 2020 that make us feel better. Golden Boy. Harry has always been an endless source of joy, but this time he surpassed all expectations. We loved every song from Fine Line, but we definitely didn't see the bigger picture Harry was after. Harry treated us to some quality video aesthetics last year with incredible visuals for Adore You and Lights Up. But it's only after Golden was posted that we realized that they are actually connected. One Twitter user made a great point, saying, The fact Fine Line was a journey of self-acceptance. In Lights Up and in Falling, he's in the dark. In Adore You, he is searching for the light. And in Golden, he finally gets there and can be open and happy. Isn't that the same light we are all looking for right now? Darn it! It's brilliant! Golden is full of amazing shots of Harry running and dancing at the Amalfi Coast and just spreading love and life. It's one of the first songs when I was making the album, and it's always been a source of joy for me, and I wanted to make a video that encapsulated that. I'd like to think it will maybe cheer a couple of people up. Cheered me up, Harry told Associated Press. And Styles can't get enough of making hilarious memes about some shots on Twitter. Like one user wrote, Harry Styles discovering water on the moon 2020. Images courtesy of NASA, next to four epic shots of Harry in the water. Another user wrote, the Harry Styles Paddington Bear crossover I never knew I needed. Totally stand for it. We need Harry now, probably more than ever. We are so grateful to Harry for spreading this love and happiness. Drama free. Save the drama for your mama. Sounds like a legit motto for the unearthly Harry. But for now, it's just one of the dozens of cool t-shirts and epic sweaters Harry owns. While stay away from toxic people is the ultimate winner on our Pinterest mood board, we can't stop freaking out because it's not just an awesome piece of fashion. It's also a gorgeous replica of Rachel Green's outfit from Friends. Though Harry was just 10 when the series ended, channeling Rachel breaks the laws of time and space, and it's just exactly what we were looking for this year. It turns out this t-shirt was made by Harry's sister Gemma. She embroidered the infamous catchphrase by herself for Harry's birthday back in February. And we finally got a glimpse of it this October in LA. Harry has impeccable taste in clothing, and we can't wait to see him back on the stage in all his fabulous blouses and colorful suits. Still can't forget that Met Gala look. When asked about his fashion choices, Harry told The Guardian, what women wear, what men wear. For me, it's not a question of that. If I see a nice shirt and get told, but it's for ladies, I think, okay, doesn't make me want to wear it less though. I think the moment you feel comfortable with yourself, it all becomes a lot easier. So, if Harry managed to teach us anything in 2020, it's that staying true to yourself is your best fashion advice. Styles Land. Imagine if Harry had his own recreation park. Video-themed pavilions, aquariums full of wonderful fish, lunches by the seaside, fashion workshops, and karaoke where you can sing his songs with fellow stylers. Sounds perfect, doesn't it? Though Harry is too humble to create a park of his own, our dream is not totally doomed. Maybe it's the toll of 2020 that reminds us to live our lives today, or maybe he's been planning it for a long time. But Harry decided to surprise fans by investing in a new music venue in Manchester. Harry is one of the investors for a $456.6 million project, which aims to be UK's largest music arena called Co-op Live. Of course, it won't be a music venue just for Styles concerts, but imagine if Harry takes on the creative part of producing the whole project. Performing for almost a decade now, Harry has great experience on how to make this arena one of the best in the world. Ultimately, I'm a music fan, he said. I love going to shows. I love live music. What's going to make it different than just touring? I want it to be a room that people remember playing and look forward to playing. Some British fans say Harry isn't just being nice. He's actually doing the work the government is supposed to handle. The British government has been criticized by some for not acting fast enough to save the entertainment industry, despite it bringing in over $80 billion every year. Even then, many see what they did give to theaters and concert venues as not nearly enough. Without Harry stepping in, many people would have gone completely broke. Harry for culture secretary, or even, dare we say, prime minister? Hope not, because then he won't have any time to write music. Making fish a symbol of world peace. Feeding fish with a tiny taco in Adore You, and then talking to it in Golden? Harry made fish his recurring thing, but the latest news brought it to the next level. Die-hard fans already know the sweet story of Harry accidentally ending up at a fan's house after his car broke down next to her house. Poor Theodora wasn't home, so Harry left a note. 
Theodora. My car broke down on your street, and your dad's friend kindly let me wait at your house with a cup of tea. I'm devastated that we missed each other. Looking forward to meeting you soon. Treat people with kindness. All my love, Harry. P.S. I fed the fish. Twitter went nuts, posting memes about Harry, the poor girl, and the lucky fish. Like one user who said, Relieved that Harry Styles' story didn't happen to young me, because I would have definitely gotten P.S. I fed the fish tattooed on my body. Or like another who posted, I will always keep my room clean now, in case Mr. Harry Styles wants to come in and feed my fish. Fans are feeling secondhand depression for poor Theodora, who missed Harry, saying, It's sad seeing others live your dream, referring to the fish. Vanity Fair made perhaps the funniest comment, though, saying, Harry Styles fanfiction authors everywhere don't even need to bother coming up with a new plot for their next installment. Speaking of After and its sequels, we have major updates about the cast shifts and other drama, so check it out in the pinned comment down below. Anyway, while we are now obsessing over marine life, Harry just keeps making the world a better place. What would you guys do if Harry showed up in your room? Mustache? Or simply, mustache? What's more important? true or unconditional love? Well, that was a hell of a debate in July of 2020 for stylers. The fan base was divided into two camps, pro and anti-stash. Some fans weren't impressed by the new Harry Styles, while others lost their heads over it. Harry was first spotted wearing a mustache while jogging in Italy. Twitter went nuts with fans actively hating the look, saying stuff like, petition for Harry Styles to shave his mustache. Or like another user wrote, if Harry Styles still has a mustache on July 23rd, I will eat my own arms. Other fans just love Harry no matter what, and posted compliments like, Harry Styles may be the only person who could wear a mustache like this and still look good. Oh, 2020, what unpredictable times. But let's be honest, so many people decided to grow a beard during quarantine, so it would be nice if we could give him a moment to enjoy his new look too. At least it gave us something to talk about. So let us know what you think about the mustache in the comment section, but be kind. The sweetest guy in Britain. Harry is always super kind and sweet to his fans and colleagues. So, we are positive that if a One Direction reunion happens anytime soon, it's Harry who's going to bring them all together. Though Harry clearly stated that they are not going to reunite as a band, we still want to see 1D together in one room, playing guitars and talking about funny 10-year-old stories. Guys, have mercy on us and give us at least an hour-long throwback. We still have high hopes for the 1D reunion. As Niall told Hits Radio Breakfast, it'll happen when it happens, I suppose. While we try to guess what this vague answer means, Harry posted an incredibly sweet tribute to 1D, saying, I've been struggling to put into words how grateful I am for everything that's happened over the last 10 years. I've seen things in places I'd only ever dreamt of when I was growing up. I've had the pleasure of meeting and working with some of the most incredible people and gained friendships that I know I will treasure for the rest of my life. Harry explained his position on the reunion, saying, If there's a time when we all really want to do it, that's the only time for us to do it, because I don't think it should be about anything else other than the fact that we're all like, hey, this was really fun. We should do it again. Well, we hope that after the horrors of 2020, Harry, Niall, Zane, Liam, and Louis decide to cheer us up and have one more performance together. Can't stop surprising. Well, it looks like Harry's watermelon is the new Timothée's peach. Not long ago, Harry interviewed Chalamet about his ability to eat peaches after that Call Me By Your Name scene and was probably so reassured about his experience that he decided to create a similar situation of his own. Watermelon sugar has become an amazing surprise for the whole fan base. It hit number one on Billboard. This is Harry's first number one win there. So, it was a huge deal. But wow, pretty surprised. Not just by the amazing visuals and epic success of the song, the lyrics are very sensual. They don't only talk about an emotional connection, but also about physical vibing. Fans pointed out that the lyrics are definitely not subtle. Taste like strawberries on a summer evening, and it sounds just like a song. I want more berries and that summer feeling. It's so wonderful and warm. And if some were still unsure, the video clip confirmed all of our suspicions. Chalamet told Harry that he can eat peaches, but every time he does, he still thinks about the movie scene. Wonder what Harry thinks about when he enjoys a watermelon now. What's with all the fruit references? Um, I don't know. They seem to be happening by accident. Then when I kind of put the album together at the end, I realized there is a lot of fruit on this album. Anyway, what's your favorite Harry Styles moment of 2020? Share all your love for Harry in the comments below. Thanks for watching.